Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about a flawless base slash foundation routine. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I do to create my most flawless look, then please keep on watching. Before we go ahead and get started, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So I am going to use this Benefit Professional Primer. This is one of my favorite face primers to use, especially when um, using something that's gonna fill in the pores. I have really, really large pores right here in the cheek area. So I have to use something that is going to fill in those pores. I also have a little bit of problematic areas right here, right in between the brows. And then I just run that over the nose, but you want to make sure that you prime your skin. So that way there's like a little bit of a barrier between your skin and your foundation and the foundation and all the chemicals and things like that that are in the foundation aren't just sitting directly on the skin. So for the rest of my skin, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Quickie Fix Setting Spray, or it's actually a um, Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. So it's just a, a foundation prep spray, and I like to use this, it smells so good. I usually just prime the center of my face as you just saw, and then I use this on the outer perimeter when I want like my most flawless look. <laughs> It also smells really, 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 really good. It smells like coconut and like, oh, it just smells so good. <laughs> so for my foundation today, I'm going to be using my Cover FX. This is the Total Coverage, Total Cover Cream Foundation, which looks like this. I'm pretty much almost done. That just showed you guys how much I love it. And this is in the shade N100. And the brush that I'm going to be using is a Sigma F84. This is an angled round kabuki brush. It is my favorite brush to use any type of cream products. And the reason I love this foundation so much is because it covers so well and the color just matches my skin pretty much the best out of all the foundations that I own. But the coverage is so amazing, but it doesn't feel cakey. You know what I mean? It just... It's a really, really, really beautiful foundation and so many people can use it if you're young, you're about my age, or even if you're a little bit older, it's just a great foundation. It is less for um, oily skin, a little bit more for dry, normal. Um, I have oily skin, but I make this work by just using a setting powder afterwards. But if you are a little bit normal combo, this is gonna be a really, really, really good foundation for you. So as you can see, it just looks so natural. It looks so flawless, like it's just, there's just nothing, it covers up pretty much everything. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your acne scars or anything like that is going to cover everything. So for concealer, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite concealer. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Deep. And if you want to see like some of my top favorite concealers, then I will have that at the end of this video. And I'll also have the high end and the drugstore version listed down below in the description box. I filmed that video last year and it went over pretty well, but I'm going to use this as highlighting. So underneath of the eyes and I'm going to draw like an upside down triangle Then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin I always go down the center of my nose and then in the center of the forehead and then always bring it up on the side of the nose and then bring whatever's left here on my little upper lip area and what's good about using concealers you can use it to kind of clean up the outer edge if you want it to be a little bit sharper today I don't really care <laughs> but I'll just do it a little bit, but yes, you can use the concealer to sharpen it up and then it'll be just like this. And then you just highlighted all of the areas that you want to bring forward and be a little bit more prominent. If you don't want to do a full coverage glam, like something like this, you can just stick with a little bit under the eyes, blend it out and carry on. And I'm gonna blend that out using my beauty blender and I'll probably cut this part out because it's just so redundant, but I just blend out the under eye and then I save the nose area for last. So that way the nose concealer kind of settles a little bit. So it leaves a little bit of a line there, not a line line, but it leaves a little bit of a mark there and it doesn't completely blend out. But yeah, I just blend this all out using my beauty blender. And when you're using your beauty blender, you want to do like soft patting motions, not swiping motions, because if you're gonna swipe, you're going to remove all of the product that you just applied. And it's pretty much going to be, you know, pointless. So to set the under eye concealer area, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, but y'all already know that. <laughs> 
I use this in every single video. It's a little bit more of a banana-y powder. If you are a little bit darker, you can use something a little bit more warm, but I like to highlight with a yellow powder. It just looks the best on my skin tone, I feel like. So I take the same beauty blender and just go under the eye since I have some wrinkles there and just pumps that out again to make sure there's no harsh lines and then I just take about that much and I always start up the side of my nose and then whatever is left I just blend underneath and then do the same thing here and what's that what's this gonna do is just completely like cut the <laughs> the nostril area off and help to slim that down and further you know contour that when we go ahead and contour and then take some more and go down the bridge of the nose. This also bakes this area, which means it just kind of settles it and sets it right then and there. Um, and it also helps to soak up any excess oils because as I mentioned earlier, I am extremely, extremely, extremely oily, especially in the nose area. Everywhere else I'm pretty normal to dry, but in the nose area, I'm very, very, very oily. So I have to take quite a bit of powder to the nose area and set all of that. But you want to go ahead and set all of your creams, no matter if you're dry or oily, whatever. You want to set your creams because if you don't, it's just going to settle into your lines and just stay right there. And you don't want that. So now that I've placed my powder where I want, I do leave a little bit under the eyes just to kind of bake that a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. I bought this to review it like... A year ago now and I never had a purpose for it unless I was doing makeup on a darker skin client to use as a highlighting powder but what I do is take this it cosmetics brush that I got from L'Oreal look at that look at that you guys it has my name engraved in it is it gonna focus on it Whoop. Ah, it's not gonna focus however it has my name engraved in it I got it from when I went out to New York for We Love That Makeup. So I'm just going to take about this much powder and then I just tap it into the cap. So I just pat my brush into it and then tap it out. So I have about that much. And then I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. You can pat and you can also do a rolling motion, which is like this, where you just kind of roll it and it just kind of pushes it into the skin. I usually just stick with patting and I pat all of the areas outside of where I highlighted. So you don't want to go over where you highlighted because that part is already accentuated. You want to go around the outer perimeter of your face and just make sure you set all of that. And also around this outer edge where your concealer stops out here, you want to go over that as well and just set all of that powder. Or cream, I'm sorry. <laughs> so once again, I just take the, the Beauty Blender and I just pounce the powder into the skin. I don't swipe away my powder. I like to press it into the skin. I learned this tip from Makeup by Mario at his, well, not, I didn't go to his master class, but from his master class, he said that you should press the powder into the skin with this sponge as opposed to swiping it away. So we've allowed this to bake a little bit. It soaked up some powder or some of the oil, you can kind of see the dots. So once again, just pouncing this into the side of the nose and the bridge of the nose to press the powder in. So to contour, I've been using my Becca Cosmetics Multitasking Face Powder. This is in the shade Deep Bronze. I've been loving using this for some reason. I don't really know why. It's a little bit of a warmer contour as opposed to a cooler contour. So maybe that's why I've been liking it. Plus it's a little bit darker, so it actually gives me um, a little bit of structure to my skin. And I'm just using this with a Nikki Garrett. Um, I've it's like a highlight brush, but I use it as a contouring brush. And I'm contouring in the perimeter of my face just to slim that down, especially the forehead area. <laughs> I have a large forehead, so I try to slim it down as much as possible. And then right here in the cheek area, just go ahead and contour all of that. For my nose, I just use a Sigma E39 of Buff and Blend Eyeshadow Brush. I plan on doing an in a detailed contour, like how I do my nose contour type of video so I'll just quickly go through this if you guys want to see that video please let me know in the comment section down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying so far 
And then for blush, this is my all-time favorite blush. It actually doesn't really go with what I'm wearing, but it's NYX Bronze Blush. I just, I love it. <laughs> just my favorite blush, and I my favorite blush brush is by The Pretty Bar. It's a part of their Peach Bellini brush set. And I always, always, always use like one of these two products just because they're like my all-time favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and take more of the powder now that I've contoured and just go along the side of the nose. And this is something I started doing like maybe like, I don't know, like three weeks ago. It just further slims down the nose and I don't know why I even started doing it, but... It looks so good after I do it. So I just take excess powder and just go along the edge of where I contoured. Just in case I went out of the line or whatever it may be, it just further contours it. And we're going to go ahead and highlight the face. And I'm going to try out Jacqueline Hill's... Um, before I do that, actually, I'm going to set my face. This is the MAC... Mineral, or what is this, MAC Fix Plus? I created this about a year ago also. It just has some, you know, some eyeshadow. It's a little bit more of a golden. So I'm going to spray this. So I've been wanting to try the Jacqueline Hill technique where she applies her highlighter with her beauty sponge. And this is the Lancome highlighter. This is a dual finish highlighter in the shade 04 Dazzling Bronze. It is just so gorgeous. And I'm going to take the other side of my beauty blender. And just dabble it in like this and put a little bit on the back of my hand and then apply hmm. nothing spectacular you guys like I'm not like oh my god my highlight is popping like I could do without doing that. It's all right. I feel like it widened my highlight a lot more though than it would if I did a with it with ooh, did it with a brush. But now that I've applied some of that, I'm gonna take some of Max O oh Darling, which I love to get. Like when I go in with dazzling bronze, I feel like it's a little too natural. So I mean, if you like natural, then you can leave it just like that. So I always go in with just a little bit something a little bit more frosty just at the tip of my highlight just to really like make that pop and be like yes that bitch right there is glowing <laughs> I'm also gonna take some of oh darling and put that on the tip of my nose and also down the center of my nose just do further highlight so you guys, that pretty much wraps up my foundation routine, my flawless foundation routine. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys learned something that is effective and that will work for you. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. That would really, 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 really mean a lot to me. And also leave me a comment on what else you guys would like to see down in the comment section. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.